I'm AJ Free, and I'm excited to be back. And I'm Michelle Spiller, and I took psychology, so I know that's a lie. And I'm Rocco Law, and I've got this week about some sports. I'm Mike DeStorm Daniels, live from my dorm at SUNY Oswego, and you're going to find out who's replacing me in four minutes. These are the first morning announcements of the 2019-2020 year. Welcome back, Mepa. Today is day three. Please rise and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you've noticed that some places around Mepham look a little different, you're correct. Over the vacation, several places across the school got a much needed facelift, like the new look of the foyer, and there's even a new waiting room in the social workers and psychologist's office. You know what else is bigger and better? The entire continent of Africa. When you normally think of a school trip, do you think of Africa? That's where the members of Mepham's Build On Club went this past summer. Mepham's Build On students fundraised $58,000 to build a school in a village in Africa. 17 inspired students traveled overseas to learn, live, and dedicate their time to help build a school in the village. Mepham Build On is already planning their next trip for next summer. Their first meeting for new and old members is Wednesday, September 18th. Mepham and Africa aren't the only things that are new and improved. With the new school year comes the return of your favorite B&B shows. Talking Cookies with Adam Barbera returns next week with Ad when Adam sits down with Angel Toro and Anthony Caragianis. Talk, to talk about Fridays A Night on Broadway. Rockland Brandon brings back the award-winning sports talk, and BNB will be debuting in their new show, What's Poppin' Pirates. So make sure to subscribe to the BNB YouTube channel. Wait, we're forgetting the most important segment. Around campus, Jake Wickerman sits down with Mepham principal, Mr. Gomez, to talk about what's in store for this year at Mepham in this week's Around Campus. Hi, I'm Jake Wickelman, and welcome back to another exciting year of Around Campus, where we sit down with the movers and shakers of Mepham High School to keep you in the know about the big happening and the events here on campus. This week, we are joined by the biggest mover and shaker of them all, Mepham Principal, Mr. Gomez. Welcome, Mr. Gomez. Hey, Jake, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Doing well. All right, so uh, question number one has to be, how was your summer, and did you do anything exciting? Summer was great. I think uh, it went by really fast. Uh, personally, I got to go on a couple of trips with my family, went to Cancun, visited friends in, in Florida, but also got ready for the new school year, which is the most exciting part. You know, getting ready for another successful year takes a lot of planning. So I worked with the clerical team here and with the other administrators to ensure that we have everything in place for the, for the beginning of the school year. And I think overall we've had a successful start. Oh, pretty good. Florida is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, what about this coming year at Mepham? What are some of the exciting things we students can expect? Oh, I'm glad you asked that because just yesterday we had a homecoming pep rally planning meeting with all the class advisors and a couple of the club advisors. Uh, we have an exciting pep rally plan for the entire school. It's going to take place during the school day on September 27th during ninth period. And um, homecoming this year is going to be during the day on a Saturday, which is different from what we've done in the past. And we're looking forward to planning something exciting there to get more people involved. All right. I'm very excited about Battle of the Classes. I think this year the juniors are going to take the crown. Uh oh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about, is there a message you have for the students this year? You know, my message is, is pretty clear. You know, we want to maintain a positive outlook in order to achieve positive outcomes. It's something that I shared with the faculty, with central office, with the community, and I want students to look ahead with optimism. You know, we're a great school. We offer a lot of wonderful classes. The teachers here care a great deal about the students and the community, and we want students to know that we're here for them. So there you have it. Thanks, Mr. Gomez. We, too, are looking forward to a great year, and BNB will be all over campus this year, bringing all of the exciting events you mentioned and more to our YouTube channel. Now back to you, AJ. Thanks, Jake. And now to take a look at Mepham Sports, it's BNB Sports Director Rocco Law and the BNB Sports Report. Thanks, AJ, and welcome back to the BNB Sports Report. Your Pirate Week in sports started on Monday with the defending Nassau County champion Boys Varsity Soccer team defeating Crosstown rival Calhoun 2-0 in their first clean sheet of the year, headed by goalie Tyra Trupo. And on Wednesday, they remained undefeated when senior captain Christian Mercia found the back of the net on a free kick with only six seconds remaining to earn the Pirates a point on the road against MacArthur. 
The girls' varsity volleyball team had a game for the ages when they came back down two sets to none to defeat Great Neck South three sets to two. Junior Sam Green led the way as she stuffed the stat sheet. They are now 2-0. Here are yesterday's results. And tonight, the boys' varsity soccer team will be back at it again as they take on Sawanica at home. And tomorrow, the varsity football team visits Rival Carrie at 2 p.m. in their opener, while the girls' varsity soccer team visits Rockville Center at 10 a.m. Cross Country has meet at Van Cortland Park as well. That's your week of Bethlehem Sports. Now back to me, you and Michelle. Thanks, Rocco. Okay, AJ, I think it's time. I think they rated long enough. Do you think they're ready to hear the weather? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're as ready as they'll ever be. And now for your weekend weather report. Chef cooking up a storm, and this is your weekend forecast. Good morning, Mepham. I'm Ava Scheffler, also known as Ava Chef cooking up a storm, and I'm here for your weekend forecast. This weekend is going to be fairly humid, and if your school pictures are today, I hope you used hairspray. Today is going to be 62 degrees with a 62% humidity, partly cloudy skies with a 0% chance of rain. Tonight is going to be 60 degrees with fairly cloudy skies and a 10% chance of rain. Saturday is looking warm with a high temperature of 73 degrees and 73% humidity with partly cloudy skies and again a 10% chance of rain. Saturday night is going to be about 67 degrees, very humid, and a 40% chance of rain. Sunday should be about 78 degrees with 77% humidity, cloudy skies, and a 40% chance of rain. While Sunday night should be about 64 degrees with a 92% chance of humidity, clear skies, and a 20% chance of rain. I'm no Mike the Storm, but I can't wait for every Friday to give you your weather for as long as I'm here. Good luck with the humidity this weekend. I'm Eva Chef, cooking up a storm, and I'll see you next Friday. Now, a weather-related story. Recently, Hurricane Dorian has devastated the Bahamas and the surrounding areas. Many lives have been destroyed, and the people there need as much help as they can get. MEPAM has been getting involved in the relief efforts. Right now, we're going to work with a, a charity to try and raise some money um, initially. And then once we get more information about what the needs are as, as the days go by, um, we will we'll branch out and, and be more specific with what we're, we're going to donate. MEPAM students can get involved in the relief efforts by saving up whatever money they can donate and keeping their ears open for announcements regarding donation efforts. Finally, for today's quote of the day, don't count the days, make the days count. Here's to another great year ahead of us at MEPAM. And whatever happens, we'll be recording it. Safe travels, Mepham. Have a great day, Mepham. Okay, you can do that thing.